Hey everybody and welcome back to What Are You Watching? I'm Riley Shot, and I'm here with Nate Slauson, the future Hall of Famer, Mr. Horton. How is ya? I'm doing good. Yeah, doing happy good. Friday everybody. Thank you. So I'm going to start us off today with a movie. It's a brand new movie just came out of theaters. It's no longer playing in theaters. It's no longer playing on HBO. But eventually you'll, you'll be able to watch it again. Um, it's called Judeus and the Black Messiah. And I have a trailer to play for it. You do. Here we go. Deputy Chairman Fred Hampton of the Illinois Black Panther Party. Repeat after me. I am, I am a revolutionary. Looking at 18 months for the stolen car, five years for impersonating a federal officer, or you can go home. The Black Panthers are forming a rainbow coalition of oppressed brothers and sisters of every color. Their aim is to sow hatred and inspire terror. I will learn all that I can. I These ain't no terrorists. You can murder a liberator, but you can't murder liberation. You can murder a revolutionary, but you can't murder a revolution. And you can murder a freedom fighter, but you can't murder freedom. It's very good. It, it, it does. Was, it was an amazing movie. It's probably one of the best movies I've seen in a while. Um, it's taking place, you know, you know, you hear him say the Black Panther Party. Um, they talk a lot about recently Martin Luther King Jr. died and just before this event happened. Um, Malcolm X died just before this event happened. Um, it's just after Jim Crow laws are out, just after they got rid of Jim Crow laws. Um, they're fighting for political freedom they're you know just like any other group that would be fighting for social equality um there's a lot of political talk there's a little bit of gang violence it is rated r so you're you know need parent consent uh it is a very good movie uh, there's a lot of different twists and turns that will get your attention no kidding is, is it fast it, it seems like it might be pretty fast fast moving Mm, it's it's about in between, I would say. Gotcha. It's good. What draw you? To, what drew you to this movie? I kind of just I've been seeing a lot on social media about it coming out, and I just kind of was like, oh, that looks interesting, and then saw it on HBO. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll watch it, and it was an amazing movie. Wow. Cool. All right, I'm gonna bring up my next one. If we don't have any more comments about that. And I'm going to talk about Perry Mason. We haven't talked about uh, Perry Mason as a true, the, the new release of Perry Mason. So I will play the, the Perry Mason trailer. Mr. Mason, certain matters require discretion and finesse. That's the kind of thing you're good at wear your good suit. This is my good suit. 
You're a detective, Mr. Mason. It's a fancy word for a busy body, but yes. It's very easy for you to break the rules, isn't it? And you never accept any help. How about I have a look? You stay in the truck. Shut up. How can we help you, Mr. Beggarly? Members of my church. An unspeakable act is visited upon them. Kidnapping gone way wrong. Worst thing you ever seen. What do you know what I've seen? We do what we don't like when there's a greater good to be served. You more than anyone should know that. The devil put Charlie Dodson in this box. Mr. Mason, it's hard to believe that you're the right person for the job. I'm the only person for this job. All they've got is innuendo and circumstance. We have to go after him! Why are you digging so hard? It's the way I play the game. You want to know things, Mr. Mason. You want to prove things. What comfort has that ever given you? Police are involved. The cops, the church, everybody. Blessed be the man who will snap this devil's neck. I'm just about out of moves. You said just about out of moves. So what's the move? What do you think? That does look good. It was. It's very it looks good. Looks pretty good. Yeah, you've got <clears throat> all my favorites. You've got uh, crime, crime drama. It involves church and and state arguments. It involves uh, bureaucracy against getting the job done. Just all those those conflicts that I I prefer. I like that those kind of the conflicts. Right. You would love murder among the Mormons. I watched it. Oh, so good. <laughs> oh, so good. I didn't want to steal it from uh from Mrs. Lawson when she comes back. <laughs> oh, you don't want to steal it? Oh, did, no. so you guys end up watching Murder Among the Mormons? They watched it, and I listened from downstairs while, stairs while I was playing my game. Same thing with the other show. What was it? I forget. Uh, Behind Her Eyes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I listened from downstairs playing my game while they watched. Gotcha but I picked up on everything yeah, except was, what these people look like. So th this is Perry Mason is a series. It's an HBO series. I think there's one season out, uh, but it was a great season. I'm looking forward to season two. So you might like Jessica Jones then. Is that, I've heard of that. Is that good? It's, it's one of the Marvel shows I've brought up. That's good. It's a private investigator show. So. Gotcha. I need to write that down. There you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure we do the show. I think we do it for ourselves so we can get <laughs> yeah. to watch. Because uh, I really get to watch all, all the time when we're talking about you stuff. guys have filled up my Netflix list. Like all my lists are full of shows. I like I need to catch yeah. up on. Is Perry Mason on Netflix? <laughs> HBO. Oh, I'll make it's sure. It's an add HBO that. HBO original. That that I'll make sure to add that. Yeah, add it on your HBO. All right, Nate. What do you got today? Okay, uh, I talked about it last time, and I was wrong about when the first episode came out, but The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, uh, the first two episodes have dropped. I've yet to watch the second one because it came out today. And uh, the first episode is so good. Uh, you, uh, Falcon and the so Soldier takes place after Avengers Endgame. Uh, I was missing my weekly Friday dopamine after WandaVision <laughs> ended. Uh, so, now, so now I get it from Falcon and just in the winter soldier but bad news uh it's another weekly episode release so i'm watching this over the course of two and a half months why do you it's, torture yourself i don't why do you, I should, why do you, you know that it's torture why yeah, do you torture it's yourself? torture but either i watch it one week at a time or i avoid tiktok for two and a half months and i can't live without tiktok for two and a half months 
<laughs> really we could we could do a whole show on TikTok video. Oh yeah. <laughs> what creators oh, are you good. following? <laughs> So Falcon and the Winter Soldier uh, picks up with the story of Sam Wilson, the Falcon, and Bucky Barnes, the Winter Soldier. Uh, this isn't too spoilery. It just It's the exposition of episode one. Uh, Sam is catching up with his family because he was one of the people who went away for five years after Endgame. I mean, after Infinity War. You'll get that eventually, Mr. Horton, when you watch these. <laughs> okay. Uh, not going to spoil too much about that. Uh, and... Bucky Barnes, uh, he's trying to make amends for his past. You'll also get that, Mr. Horton, <laughs> watch all these movies. <laughs> so we're going to pick up with them, and they're now tracking what looks to be like a terrorist organization. So uh, gotcha. theory, so many, theories are going crazy in my head already. How many episodes <laughs> uh, are there? Do we know? There's currently two, and there's going to be ten. Gotcha. So each week is a new episode. Are they are they just waiting to release these, or are they actually filming them? They have them all, and they just release oh. them one rele- okay, week so at a time. That, that's even worse, right? That's 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 awful. That makes you yeah. want to break into Disney headquarters and watch them. Yep. <laughs> Disclaimer: He's kidding about that. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm definitely on a few FBI watch lists. Yeah. <laughs> well, and so. Uh, it, I know we've had this discussion before, but I don't like weekly release shows. It's it's no. too much. I'm too struggling much. with I'm struggling with Grey's Anatomy right now because I want to keep up. I don't want to like I, I'm sick of waiting until the end of the new season and then seeing all the spoilers on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, I have to keep up with it. And I'm like, I oh, I just want to watch more episodes every week. I had been <laughs> caught up on Grey's and I got on Instagram and Ellen Pompeo spoiled stuff for me. Mm-hmm. I'm like, come on, is it why? Yeah, the biggest new spoiler is all over. I'm like, I'm so glad I watched the episode before before I saw all the spoilers. I, I follow Ellen Pompeo who plays Meredith Grey and she's like, spoilers and I'm like, you could have added a warning at the beginning yeah. of the episode. Oh, yeah, a big a huge, a big on. huge banner that. Well, yeah. don't they have that on TikTok now. This, this, this post contains sensitive material. The the good people, yeah. the good, the real ones have the good people spoilers yeah. warnings. Um, I know all the all the cast members last uh, the last couple of weeks have been posting about the biggest new death in the show. If you, if you're following any of them, you're, you're it's spoiled automatically. So upset. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm going to throw out a couple more things that I've been watching. I talked about the OA. I talked about uh, this is a sappy, uh, I don't know, it's not a romance, but kind of is drama that uh, the Virgin River, I talked about that, which is, you know, I'm I'm watching. Uh, I seem to be all over the board. I I can't stick with one genre. I don't know what's going on. Probably (laughs) Doctor Who next. Doctor Who. Okay. That'll keep I you busy a lot of for a long time. That. So great. So great. And, you know, I started Lucifer. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, started Lucifer. Um, I don't know. Sometimes Lucifer's a little corny for me. It is a little. It's, it's, it's a little corny. Yeah, it reminds me of, it kind of reminds me of Gotham a little bit. It reminds me of Scooby-Doo because you can predict the entire episode's plot. Yeah. You're like, well, that's the bad guy. There you go. There's the bad there, guy. There, there. There's. <laughs> I like playing a game. When we watched it for the first time with my mom, I'd be like, well, that's the plot of the episode. And she's like, why are you telling me? It's yeah. obvious, isn't it? This is so, this is easier to read than a Hallmark movie. <laughs> there's a great question. I, I mean, a lot of these, a lot of shows. Well, I'm gonna. That's a whole, uh, you know, group of uh, things tell you kind of lead you on to do you like to know who the bad guy is right in the beginning and then watch how it's proved to be the bad guy or do you like twists and turns and what twists and turns twists and turns for tv shows for tv shows definitely twists and turns for movies i'm okay with that because like they have a limited time span but for shows with multiple episodes a season definitely prefer twists and turns yeah so Talk about shows that we've already brought up that we're watching. I just finally watched Bridgerton. Obsessed with it. Found out that Shonda Rhimes also made that and freaked out. I was like, I'm going to be upset. 
because <laughs> she Shonda always needs to take everything. a break. So does Shonda yeah. ever? Does she ever sleep? Because murder. No. I don't know. Probably not. Um, She's an amazing, amazing with her shows, though. She it makes such she, good does, shows. Doesn't she do How to Get Away with Murder as well? Yeah. Yes. One of my favorites. She Shonda has needs so to slow many. down. She is dominating anything that's going to be being put out. Um, but as soon as I found out she made it, I'm like, yeah, this is, I'm going to cry at some point during this. You already like, know. I mean, like, who needs to be Bill Gates rich when you can be Shonda Rhimes rich now? Yeah. I started, sure. I started uh, The Crown. Oh, mm-hmm. that's good. It, it, it is. It, it's slow and you have to like history, really. Well, yeah, I, I haven't gotten into it yet. I want to watch it. I just haven't sat down to watch it yet. Well, I mean, the interesting part here is, you know, what do they call that, uh, you know, uh, dramatic history? There's, oh, um, fact-based fiction, you know, historically-based yeah. fiction. Uh, historical fiction. Historical fiction, yep. And realistic, I think. I think. Yeah, so there's realistic events that happen. And they kind of, you know, take, uh, you know, dramatize the, the inner workings and relationships. Uh, John Lithgow as um, Winston Churchill. Matt Smith. Great... What's that? Uh, Matt Smith as uh, Philip, who yeah. is also the doctor, Doctor Who. We talked yeah. about Jessica Jones, <laughs> David Tennant as, yeah. as uh, Kilgrave, also one of the doctors in Doctor Who. Yes. Great casting with, with that. Um, Winston Churchill, this is interesting. He's kind of at the downhill side of his, uh, if you've never seen it, he's at the downhill side of his uh, career, really. You know, trying to, you know, people talking about ousting him. And, you know, he went from like complete hero, World War II hero, to now your ideas are old and stuffy and get out of the way kind of thing. <laughs> um, so I, start, I fin- started and finished another show on HBO. Um, probably, I think it's the first series I watched on HBO all the way through so far. Um, it's called We Are Who We Are. Um, it's a total of eight episodes long. As of right now, I do not know if they're coming out with another season. I'm hoping so. But it is about, you know, the LGBTQ community. Um, it's a son and how he's going through with his, you know, living on a military base with his lesbian moms, you know, who are both in the army and that how they have to be treated differently. And, you know, then he finds out there's other kids that are just like him struggling in this military base and trying to figure out who they are. Um, it talks about trans, it talks about gays, it talks about whatever, any, every part of LGBTQ is pretty much included in this. And it's amazing. We, and it is, it is right in mature. So again, there's a lot of, a little bit more inappropriate scenes. So get parental consent before you watch. We are who we are. Is that that what you were saying? Yep. You remember the show The Fosters? Yes. I never watched it, but I remember. I it. watched a little bit of that when my sisters were home and watched it. Yeah, and I think that show just kind of went away. Uh, can we talk about how disappointed we are when you? And I've gotten a little more uh, intelligent about this. If you see a show that the last episode was put out in 2018, and there's two seasons, mm-hmm. and there's not a new season yet. Yeah, there's gonna it's only ending. there's only two pieces. Done. Yeah, and so if you if you know that going in, it's kind of it it eases the pain a little bit. At the mm-hmm. end. But a show that popped up on my list, watch list, was Peaky Blinders. Never heard of it. Never heard of it. That's on my HBO list. Uh, a tough street kid kind of. Uh, Yeah, I want. Uh, I'll let it go. If you guys never heard of it, I'll let it go. We'll uh, <laughs> discuss it another time. But it's not bad. Well, cool. Anybody have anything else you want to bring up? Nope. We have co- we have covered a lot of stuff today. Yeah. Yeah. And I've actually written down several things. That movie looks great. Right. That was a great, yeah. great. Yeah, it's like it's such an amazing movie, and it it's coming out in the perfect timing of you know social equality in america so it's it's amazing yes. you relate to it you relate to it looking back on historical events you can relate to it looking back at 2020 yeah so what's the time frame though is that in the 60s i'm not sure 60s maybe late 60s 
Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, cool. All right, Riley, take us home. Well, thanks for tuning in with us and joining us again this week for for what are you watching? We'll be back next. No, will we be back next week? I think uh, we have break. We, yeah, I think we're on break. I think we're on yep, break. So we won't be back for a couple of weeks then. We'll be back after break. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you then. I'm Riley Shot, and I'm here with Nate Slauson. Future Hall of Famer, Mr. Horton. Have a good weekend, everybody. <laughs>